Honeys. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a great day for a gym shower haul. You feel me? So going on like seven days of straight rain. So your girl had to do a little shopping spree to cheer herself up. And I don't know if you've noticed, if you've checked out Jim Shower's website, uh, your girl's spending way too much money again. Just when I think, okay, like this is all I need, Jim Shark, you can't top what you already did. Then they have a new release. Okay, then it's over. Jim Shark went hard this past month, all right? They got new collection releases, they got new colors and older collections. So I kind of had to get a little, you know, little refresher in my summer wardrobe, <laughs> you feel me? So we're gonna do like a mini review, little overview, some pros, some cons, full try on, you know how I do. And everything as always will be linked down below in case you wanna take a closer look. Let's go. All right, so everything you see today is in a size small. That's my true to size size. My measurements will be down below for you. Whew. Adapt ombre, yeah. Had to, just had to. I just wanna say real quick, the ombre is gorgeous, but why, where's the sports bra? Why is there no matching sports bra? What's up with that? It's summertime, okay? The long sleeve is super cute, don't get me wrong, but like. So let's start with the long sleeve, shall we? So this is in the color shell pink and light gray. Really beautiful fade. The long sleeve is very thick, okay? So it's not something I would wear outdoors. This is an air conditioned kind of gym. When you're like freezing, you put this over, you're good. It is very wicking, you could feel it. Super soft and like I said, ooh, the stretch is crazy in this set. I put this on backwards at first because it's cinched in the back, which I thought was weird. I thought this was the front, you know? Like how the camo long sleeve cinches by your titties. I thought that that's what this did. So I put it on backwards, not the case. So I get it, like they wanna cinch it so that it, it kind of, you know, appears a little tighter in the front. I don't think it was very necessary, but nonetheless, you know, I guess it's kind of cute, a little awkward. You have the nice minimal logo printed. Okay, you can feel it, that texture right down the side here. Nice white minimal logo, been loving that look. Their leggings are really nice, high-waisted ribbed band, about, probably looks around five inches. This kind of gave me a camel toe when I was walking, but if I stand like head on, it's gone. You do have the raised seam contour down the boot, hey? I like that. So this actually does make the peach look pretty nice. It looks peachy in this. However, it's not 100% squat proof. All right, I tested it in daylight and you can see something going on. Comes to a great length though. I'm 5'3 and I was pleasantly surprised with the length. They've been working on that. I noticed like they've been kind of trimming it up a bit. So if you're super tall, then these might kind of come towards your calves. But for me, oh, perfect ankle length. Just like the top, you got that minimal logo down the side. So very cohesive. I really love how they made this set. When I saw Ombre, oh, wish they came out with a little more color options. Cause you know, honestly, pink's like the last thing I go for. <laughs> and if they came out with a sports bra, hands down, your girl, she got the training cropped crew. They came out with more sage colors and I'll tell you, I've never owned sage before Gymshark started launching them recently. Now I own everything sage. This is my color, that dusky, ooh yeah. The new Legacy is absolutely beautiful. I'm sold on this. It almost looks slightly preppy in a way. Got that little preppy like school vibe, campus vibe. Absolutely love the breakup, let's be honest. The white against the sage is so eye-catching. I'm very scared I will get this filthy dirty, but if I roll it back up, hopefully it won't be next to my hands, which seem to always get filth all over them. Love the collar being white. Everything just looks so beautiful. So you got like two little holes back here. I'm not really sure like what you, I'm assuming headphones, but I don't even know. What, what is that? What's that for? Comment down below if you know. <laughs> You actually have it underneath the armpit as well. So I don't really know what's going on with that. But nevertheless, maybe it's just to breathe a little bit in there. I don't know. You have smack dab in the middle, that legacy logo. I love it. And it is drawstring. So I love the draw cord. You can make it as tight as you want. This is an overall looser fit. 
if they run out of sizes and you need to size down, it's not the end of the world because I could have totally gotten an extra small in this and been okay, but I'm happy with the small because I like that little baggier look, especially with the drawstring kind of cinching in the waist. It's cute to have that little baggier look up top and you have a lot of just contour everywhere. It's absolutely a stunning crew. Like I love it so much and I even ordered it in black. So that's on its way. Okay, I told you this one's a keeper to match that crew i got their legacy loose fitting shorts in the same color so loose oh my god it's loose so i actually was like rolling it down if you follow me on instagram you'll see a picture where i actually had to roll it down a little bit to kind of make it look somewhat cute <laughs> this i might return in size down for real because other than that it really is cute and i love Love me some loose shorts in the summertime, summer breeze, airing you out a bit. Right on that back pocket, you got that Gymshark Legacy logo, okay? So you're gonna get some attention back there, girl. If that's what you're going for, go for it. It is a drawstring right here, okay? So you can tie it as tight as you need. And it's got that naturally like ruffly look up here. So it really is cute and flattering, that kind of look. But again, sides and down, because these, look how big these are one third of my body that's one third of it okay baby girl so i got their little like tank vest legacy had to mix it up and go with that like nice steel blue color that they came out with i feel like every single thing lately that they're launching are in these colors <laughs> it ain't getting old for me i'm maybe a little bit old <laughs> so again smack dab in the middle logo this is a little bit of a looser fit uh there's no draw cord or anything so it kind of just hangs away from the body a little bit boxier look but i don't mind that okay again summer drop sleeve so you sweat and you're good your girl sweats i'm sweating right now racerback style on the back i also want to make note this is a biggie that these logos on everything you've seen these legacy logos are embroidered they're not printed on they're not gonna flake off and in a wash like start peeling off these are freaking embroidered the quality is there okay for a simple tank like this it's there and you do have a little bit of a stretch like i said so this isn't like just your basic cotton like cheap thing it feels like like the feeling of cotton but you can feel that there's like an extra fiber in there but yeah nice thick straps and overall like a great piece to throw over a set in the summertime yeah so the last piece of the new legacy releases that i got is the leggings so there's a lot going on with these leggings let me tell you girl um uh, so you got the high waist you can you can see kind of how it goes in a little bit up at the top feels like it's seamless but it's definitely not you got a ton of seams everywhere you got not one but two pockets this is overall a very like thin kind of legging something that i would probably wear summertime for sure um they definitely nailed it in terms of the season right now so if you're someone who feels comfortable in longer leggings rather than shorts but it's hot as heck out yeah you even have near the ankle a little bit of mesh so your ankles breathing up a storm in these so again just like the first pair the adapt you have a nice gusset so you can stretch around do pretty much anything in this i would recommend like doing kind of softer you know yoga calisthenic type of work uh this one seemed pretty squat proof okay whereas the adapt the first one not so much these seemed pretty opaque in my opinion Oh God, look at that booty contour. Um, not totally in love because it doesn't really make my peach look very good. No matter how much I like tucked it up, trying to like get it to contour it. I think it's just the shape of my bum. Cause some gals, they pull it off. They look amazing in it, which is a big reason why I wanted to get it. Cause I said, Oh my God, girl, you look so good. Like not for my peach, but that's just me. Kind of flattened me out a little bit. Right. The adapt. Yeah. This. Hmm. So the contour is just a little bit too low. I think that's what it is for me, where it points all the way down your booty. But again, it's still kind of cute when you look at it. There's a lot going on. The logo is not embroidered on this one. This ain't embroidered. This is printed. Again, the length came really nice to the ankle on me. So five foot three, babies out there, hit it up. This one will come to a nice length. 
Didn't really see any crazy camel toe, so that's what's up. Other than that, you know, they really are cute, especially from the front, like they are so beautiful. And if you guys remember my video, Battle of the Gymshark Leggings, my worst rated leggings from Gymshark were the Legacy, you know, the panel leggings with the half logo. So I was really like not sure about these, but boy did they step their game up. Ooh, different animal here. So if you're somebody who's not sure because you've had a bad experience like me, these are definitely different. The material is very soft, okay? Not like the other ones where it's like stiff and like, like it was straight cotton. I would probably kind of relate these to the speed leggings, okay? That I had in a video. They, they remind me of like the speed, the texture and the feel. Overall, decent leggings. Not totally in love with the booty contour, but other than that, mm, not too shabby. All right guys, so I picked up a couple training items because you know, that I like that collection, all right? I actually did a full review of the training sports bras and the leggings and shorts. So I'll have those videos linked below in case you're interested. And you would know if you saw the video that I love the 7 8 legging because they are designed for gals like me who are five foot three, I made a rhyme. So I managed to get one of their like freaking orange nectarine colors. It's, it's citrus, that's what it's called. I think it's the color or something like that, but the sage one that I got in, in this legging was perfection. And this one I think is because, maybe I just don't like myself in orange that much. <laughs> it's still a very nice legging, okay? It's still high waist, it's still buttery soft and sleek, and it's perfect because I love doing yoga and calisthenic work. Um, but it was not even a little bit squat proof on me, I'm not gonna lie. like. <laughs> This light orange, be prepared to see pretty much everything in it. But nevertheless, they did release a bunch of other colors as well. I noticed they had like a navy blue and some really beautiful like greens. I might get some of those, okay? Maybe orange just doesn't like me very much, but I do love these leggings. You already know, girl. So I might, I might have to try different colors. <laughs> just like all their other training leggings, you do have a nice, like decent sized band, the minimal shark face logo, gusset crotch. It is just your overall basic, like solid, opaque, zero contour legging. There is seams in it. This is not seamless. So for a seamed legging, these are like the perfect pair of yoga pants in my opinion. So, gonna try some different colors and mix it up. All right guys, last but not least, training. I did manage to pick up another pair of shorts. I have a pink pair that I got a couple months ago, but I decided to go for a gray neutral color. This way I can mix and match, you already know. So these are just their basic shorts. I know they have like booty shorts and they have like longer shorts, leggings, things like that, but these are just their normal size shorts. And I'm gonna be real with you. I noticed these on the pink, but I figured what the heck, let me try them because they are so affordable. Tried the gray and I still kind of get got that same feeling from them where the knitted part right around here, right at the bottom, the base, kind of is restricted a little bit. It's a little bit tighter than the rest of it, okay? The rest of it's like second skin. It's so soft and buttery. But right around here is where it kind of restricts you. And for somebody like me, girl, I got like the cellulite on the back of my leg and it kind of accentuates that a little bit. It's not very flattering on me. <laughs> but some gals, you know, they could get away with it. But for me, I just feel like these specific shorts, they ain't working for me. The flex, the new flex shorts, absolutely love them. They're cycling shorts. Even the shorter flex shorts look amazing. It's just the cut of this or something. Just that these seams aren't working for me. But other than that, really adorable, very, very comfortable buttery soft pair of shorts. So if you like that kind of feel, that yoga-y vibe feel, definitely check out the training collection. Probably has your name written on it, girl. All right guys, that was it. That was my little mini new release Gymshark haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely comment down below if you have any questions at all. And let me know if you picked up anything in these new releases, okay? Cause I'll tell you one thing, girl. They keep doing it. They keep doing it. Right when I'm trying to save money, another release comes out. And guys, stay posted because I'm pretty sure Gymshark's doing a new release of the Power Down collection on the 24th. So you already know your girl, you know, she's gonna have her hands on that because I love that collection. And I did a full review on that one. So whew, gotta get them. 
and you're like, oh, I can't keep up. And definitely don't forget to subscribe, guys, for new videos every single week. Follow me on the gram for daily content on all things fitness. Thank you all so much, and I'll catch you in the next video.